Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Tonight. I am Megan, um, and tonight I finally got some downtime, got the house alone to myself, and thought, I've been wanting to play Skyrim on this channel for so long, like basically ever since we started this channel, and no one can stop me now. So this shit's going down. <laughs> Um, Skyrim, if you guys couldn't guess, is literally my favorite game. Like, if I'm playing a video game and it's by myself, it's either this or Fallout, both by Bethesda. Um, I love it. I love it so, so dearly. So, I won't talk your ear off about it, but if you don't like Skyrim, I, I don't think I like you. Just kidding. Anyway. Um, so before we get started with all the fun stuff, I did want to tell you guys that I am playing a modded game. Um, I'm not modded it. I've not modded it out so much that I'm like God mode or anything, but like I add little tiny uh, fun things to the game and I did not make any of these mods. So really quickly, I just want to scroll through um, some of them and show you guys what they're called if you're interested in downloading them for your own games. Um, I have so many updates I need to <laughs> download but that's not the point so real quick this is my library if you guys um, just so feel the need to go look all of these up I'm sure that their creators would be very happy um, if I actually think about it I will also try to put some of these in the comments or in the description box below uh, but let's be honest I can't even remember to like tweet out that we have a new video out so it's probably not gonna happen but um, if any of you guys see something or hear something in the game that you're like hey that's not in the real game what is that mod I would be more than happy to look it up for you and let you guys know in the comments so uh, but I did once again I did not make any of these mods props to the creators because I love your mods thank you very much okay so we are starting a brand new campaign uh, this is probably like the 76th time I've started a new campaign but this time I'm going to make it completely random um, I wouldn't say completely because I'm also the only one here but you guys will get to see it from the very beginning um, creating a random character naming a random character um, just uh, a random spot one of the mods that we um, have on our game allows us to um, start from anywhere we want so I will also pick surprise me on that so um, if you guys haven't seen Skyrim before this obviously is not your original start point um, you usually start like in a wagon going to your death uh, I guarantee you can find that anywhere on YouTube all right Dobby tell me when to stop tell me when to stop Bubba. Okay, well, Dobby's doing nothing. So, um, I am just going to close my eyes. Uh, apparently, I'm going to be a marrow. Uh, a breed of ogre adopted to aquatic environments faster and fiercer than their landkin, and the freshwater marrow wear greenish and scaled with webbed hands and feet. I don't know how that's going to help me in this game, but whatever. I am making it different okay so my sex is male okay that's cool oh I can just do a preset okay I'll just pick a random preset that's basically that's pretty random <gasps> Ooh. okay not gonna lie I like that guy but we'll see we'll see what I can come up with I also like that guy though too okay mm, okay I'm just gonna stick with that one uh skin tone see how rugged we can make you ooh I'm kind of liking that and I feel like if you're a mer person you're probably gonna be somewhat thin but let's make him a little bit musclier all right it's all preset so I'm not gonna mess with the head face eyes brow mouth or hair and we're done I just gotta name my name my prisoner okay I'm going to look at my DVD cabinet right in front of me uh, okay, I see the giver, so let's do G. I see uh, page master, so P. We gotta come up with an A. What is that? I am number four, so right now his name is Gap. You know what? That's just his name. His name is Gap. Not even uppercase or anything. His mom did not care about his name. Um, so once again, like I said, this is not your original start point. Uh, they put you in this little dungeon so that you can go up to this statue of Mara right here. And you can choose what choose your what starting point like is. Um, and it's like, some of these will give you things to start with. Some of them will help you. Some of them will hinder you. Um, if you want to, you can choose the regular vanilla start. But I am going to scroll all the way down here to the bottom and click surprise me. And hope that I don't die. Because there's been several times where it puts me on the edge of a mountain cliff fighting like a a troll out of nowhere. And I have no weapons. Leaving so, life to chance, we're, uh, so we're going to do this. 
All right, go up here in this bed. Go to sleep, and where will I end up? Ooh. Oh, also, one of the mods I have is, like, sarcastic loading screens, I want to say it's called. So occasionally, if you see, like, words pop up in the bottom. Something to report? Oh, shit, I'm in the Legion already? <sighs> okay. Again, why I'm wasting men chasing after a fairy tale. Well, I mean, let's if be honest. I, uh... Crown. I guess that's just where I'm going. Uh, death to the Stormcloaks. With uh, all the troubles in this world has, what an oblivion was Ulfric thinking when he murdered High King Torig? That bastard actually just walked right into solitude and used his thumb to shout him apart. By the gods, I've decided to join up with the Legion and personally make it my mission to see it that Ulfric pays. Um, I played this game enough that I've actually been joining the Legion more as I played. Uh, I won't lie, I definitely like the Stormcloak quests a little better. I always feel like a masked vigilante. Um, but Ulfric's kind of a, you know, he's just a dick. So, I, don't, I mean, I'm not too upset about this one. Uh, I guess I'll just join the it Legion. You know, that's starting my new life problem. there. Don't you know I don't know why Leggett is in a bikini. Occasionally that happens. Like that's not one of my mods that I know of, although it could be like a uh, like a, a glitch because of my mod. Um, you never know. I don't want a mud crab, and also there's a Harry Potter school that I can discover. I'm going to take that off as well. You've been here long enough to know that Nords aren't always sensible. Yeah, I'm aware, but I want to talk to you. Stop with the commentary. Are you lost? No, I'm not lost. I'm supposed to report to you, bitch. You see the arrow above your head? No, it's not as simple as that. But the jagged crown would be well, a potent symbol for his cause to rally. When I edit this, I will skip all but of this so that you guys don't actually have to watch it. it. Or maybe I'll leave it in. Maybe you want to watch it. Maybe you've never seen it before. It would maybe I'm talking over really good commentary that you're just Perhaps. really excited to see. I'm maybe y'all want to get different view despair, of Leggett in this weird-ass bikini with a sword through her skin, possibly. Or maybe she's just holding it like that. It seems like a really weird angle. Make sure you take also, not gonna lie, here. if uh, I had more self-confidence in my body, cool Halloween outfit. The stone fists, no fool. Yeah, I get it, the stone fist is no fool. Blah, blah, blah. Rebels. Yeah, damn the Stormcloak rebels. Are my men now giving here we go. Anyone who wanders Thank into the you. Castle? Yep, absolutely. You some reason to be here, citizen? Yeah, death to the Stormcloaks. It's good we hold the reach. How goes the, the war? Control, the silver mines would give them coin to hire more th Sure. I like how I didn't talk to anybody and it's just giving me things. Occasionally, when you mod things out, it will glitch like this, so some of this probably won't make sense. Um, but apparently, I am already sworn in and all sorts of shit, so... I failed joining the Stormcloaks, but I'm not really upset about that. Okay, now I have to go talk to her. Bikini girl. Listen Welcome up. to your boobies, Leggett. Oh my lord. Galmar Stonefist has located what he believes Yeah, I know. Jagged Crown. Gonna go find it. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna We're do going some to shit. Sure he doesn't get his hands this is probably one of the, the better of ones that I could have started with because since I'm joining the Legion, like, I'll get, I'll like, an outfit or, like, or armor and I'll get, you know, a weapon and, and all sorts of stuff. So it, it's not too bad. Um, I need to... I need to go talk to, I think it's like Baron or something and get my armor and my weapon. Unless it's already put it in there. So I don't think that it's doing any of the crazy mods right now. Um, occasionally, like it'll have like your mom jokes, like ye old your mom jokes. And those are also super duper cool. Okay, so we're going to go over to items. I have an Imperial Sword. Okay, I don't have Imperial Armor though yet, so let me go talk to What's-His-Face and see if I can get some. Get well, they're getting on with something. I just don't know what it is. I've been waiting see, for Beeren. Execution. Talk to me later. Oh, man, I forgot Rogbeer's getting executed. Alright, let's go watch his execution and then maybe I can... Yeah, I know. Get on with it. Blah, blah, blah. Let's... We'll go watch it. So this guy's getting executed because he's the one that left the door open. And he, like, escaped the city after the vanilla start. Oh, hi, Ichabod. No, it's fine. I'm just playing a game. But go ahead and come step on my laptop. Record your equipment and stuff. There was no murder. Ulfric challenge story. 
There's like a whole big political climate because like Ulfric technically did ca challenge King Torig, but like King Torig had no idea that he would be able to use the dragon shout to be able to literally blow him apart. So I don't know. I, I don't know. I played this game how many times? And I still don't really know how I stand on it. Ichabod, I'm playing video games. Okay, there's no way that I love you more than Skyrim. And now they're going to behead him. Goodbye. Should I have done a spoiler alert that that could get semi-gory? Oops. Okay, so I'm going to go back up here and see if uh, Beerend will give me some stuff now. Because I really don't want to go in there, Nagy. Hi. A traitor right up to the end. Yeah, I I totally agree. A traitor mm -hmm. right up to the mm -hmm. end. Yeah, no, I hear you. Damn. Well, guess I'm going in naked, guys. Yeet. Um, a lot of people don't like how do I how do I put this? A lot of people don't like Skyrim because it takes so much time to load and there's like a lot of space between major battles but if you take the time to actually go through and not just fast travel everywhere like you run into vampires and shit and you can become a werewolf later on because uh you help some people fight a giant like there's just random shit that'll go on of course you can also level up a little bit faster because you know what do you need? you're like doing more shit um but i don't know i like it there's a, there's been times where uh, jesse and i will just set up um, a game for my sister and we'll just put her on a horse and let her ride around and for the most part she loves it and has the time of her life until something pops out at her and then she screams and throws the controller and we have to kill it and then uh, then she gets back on the horse I'm pretty sure that every time that she comes over she doesn't even call it Skyrim she's just like can I play the horse game sure I guess <laughs> like tell me that you guys don't fucking love this look at that look at this it's beautiful would help if I watched where I was going. I think I'm gonna go swimming. Ooh, I wonder if since I'm a marrow, if I can breathe underwater like an Argonian. Let's find out. Good business for the East Empire. I don't have business with the East Empire Company. I just want to find out if I'm gonna yeah. drown. Yeet! I should probably save first if I'm going to purposely try and see if I can kill myself. Okay. Ba -ba -da -da, swimming in the dark. Occasionally there's like chests and shit down here that you're not able to find if you can't swim. So like, it's a really good idea to uh, play as multiple races over time because then you can find extra shit that you didn't even know existed. I might not drown. Well, I mean, that's like a really nice thing I just found out. I'm getting bored looking under here, though, so I'm just gonna get back up here. <coughs> I love this music. This is all Skyrim stuff, so some of my mods may have been those updates that I needed to put in. Um, cause, like, it'll play, like, fucking Danger Zone and shit, like... The whole reason that I knew that mods were even a thing is that uh, Clay used to play... I mean, not that I didn't know that they were a thing, but... Oh shit, I just have those? Oh my god, where's my weapon? Fuck you, spider. Yeah! Right in the skull! Okay. Do you have anything for me? Thank you. Anyway, oh, what I was saying... Um, I knew that mods were a thing, but I'd never played with mods, but part of the reason I was so excited about mods is that Clay had a mod on his computer game where all of the dragons in Skyrim showed up as uh, jet planes, and they played Danger Zone every time one came on. And then he further used the mod to summon a bunch of dragons, and so there was like, I think 10 or 12 overlapping songs of Danger Zone, and it was just really obnoxious and hilarious at the same time. Uh, there's also one that Jesse found that I don't remember where it is. I'm pretty sure it's for Xbox, um, where, uh, 
every single time that you shout, it just says, John Cena! <laughs> there are lots of mods on here. Like, if you guys uh, play Skyrim and you haven't modded out your game yet, you do not know what you're missing. And like I said, I'll cut a lot of this out, so I doubt you guys will see, like, a lot of me just walking through the woods because that would be, like, a really boring 20 minutes of watching somebody do it, like... I love Skyrim, and I probably wouldn't just sit here and listen to somebody just walk through woods for an hour, which is another reason why I don't live stream this. Like, Josh is our live streamer. All the more power to him. I love his live streams. Like, if you guys don't watch him yet, go check him out at uh, Josh Plays Tonight on Twitch. Uh, he usually does, like, full series games. Like, he went through Mass Effect, and he does some, like, you know, funny challenges and stuff on Zelda, and... He's just, he's really good at his stuff, and most of us come there and just have a really fun time, and we make fun of Josh. So, if, if anything, if you just want to make fun of Josh, go watch his stuff. Uh, Tuesday nights and Sunday nights, 9 to midnight, Eastern Standard Time. Anyway, but yeah, I don't, I don't do Twitch because I know that the game that I would love to live stream is Skyrim, and uh, unless I get, like, drunk and play Skyrim or something... <laughs> I don't really see a way to make it, like, super entertaining for a few hours. Fuck. Okay, so I don't like to follow paths, guys. I'm not a path kind of person. But sometimes Skyrim tells you, fuck you, you are taking this path. And I try to argue with it, and I say, fuck you, no I'm not. But it doesn't always listen, and then I have to take the path anyway. So, lesson be learned, uh, sometimes life tells you, fuck you, and it's okay. Just take the path for a little bit and then get back off once you reach your destination. Oh shit, who's coming after me? No, fuck you. Fuck off, bitch. Yes! Beheading! Okay, I won't lie, I know I made like a rando player named Gap, but I mean, he does look kind of badass when he fights. Take that. Guys, I'm not in danger anymore. It's okay. Okay. I wonder if any of their armor is better than mine. Uh, all of it. Nope, I don't want to do that. Great. Yes, I can hold them both. Dual wielding. Leveling up. You gotta always search those barrier learns, guys. Like, always search. Get your money and time's worth. Rune book? Yeah, rune book. Okay. Let's go in. Let's take some shit. Oh, wait, I don't need to be in Frostmere Crypt. What am I doing? Guys, I don't follow paths and I also don't follow my missions. It's okay. <laughs> Who in Dagon's name are you? Speak. Oh, she's gonna fucking cut me down where I stand. No, you're not. Oh, I was part of the gang in the ruins. Oh, you in a gang? Friend of shit, mine Bloods of Crypts. And stole the boss's sword. They blamed me for it. Well, it's probably Look, your fault. I'm done here. Mop the floor with these idiots for all I care. Just get out of my way. I mean, okay, you were basically kind of rude even though I fucking saved your life. But, you know, whatever. Be ungrateful. I mean, I'll find the stolen sword. It's all good, guys. See, and now the path ends anyway. So, like, what was the point of me following that fucking path? Nothing. Except for killing some bandits and being talked to like I'm nothing. No respect in this game. No respect. Also, if you're wondering, uh, yes, there are stats for how many animals you kill. And no, I'm not going to be doing it because I'm not a terrible person. There's no reason for it. And don't argue with me and be like, you can get food out of it. Motherfucker, do you know how many mods there are in this game? I don't need to eat ever. I don't need to do anything health-wise ever. Also, I'm going to steal a shit ton of potions. Yes, you heard that right. Murder is bad. Theft, A-OK. -okay. Theft is A-OK. -okay. Walking in the snow. Following a path. Ooh, it's a spider. Let's kill it. Let's kill the spider. Now, I know I just said I'm not going to go kill an animal, okay? But spiders are a whole nother thing. Because, like, that elk, that elk wasn't doing shit to me. Not, not shit. That spider, you saw it. It was poised and ready to kill me. It's survival of the fittest. That rabbit, not doing anything. That rabbit's terrified of me. That red dot, I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna kill it too. I don't know if I necessarily like the sounds that Gap makes when he kills things, but, you know. 
Ooh, more people. I hope that they don't want to kill me. They might, though. Who are you? Oh, they're pilgrims. I'll let them go on their pilgrim Good way. Morning. Be on the other side, or I'm gonna hurt you. Oh, look, you're right there. You're lucky. You were so close to getting killed in. With my two weapons and no armor. Because... What's the situation? Welcome give to me. the Legion. I'm glad you're with us. I don't like the looks uh, of this That place, guy, if we would have had the Vanilla the Star, talks. I would have had the opportunity to go with him and later save him from death, so... Yeah. You too, huh? Like we're best, basically best friends, but you guys didn't know that because like I did a rando start. But never mind all that. We're the Emperor's soldiers. Yes, we are the we'll Emperor's do soldiers. No matter what stands in our way. Right? I mean, I'm not dying for him. I'm just gonna be completely honest. Like, if he's like, you need to die right now for me, I'm gonna be like, nah. I'm gonna go see Ulfric. See, like this guy's just like Sparta wearing a loincloth, like. No matter. At least he's going to be the one that goes one instead of me. Surprise. Yeah, those Prepare damned rebels. Out. Yeah. Ma'am. I saw her in a bikini earlier, okay? She's not a ma'am anymore. Alright, guys. We're going to retrieve the Jagged Crown. Because for some reason, the Jagged Crown makes all the difference in this war that is to come. You're trespassing here. Clear yeah, up. but I don't care. <laughs> you fuck mom. Oh shit. No! Ah. Guys, I died! Nobody allowed in. And that's what happens when you talk shit. Orders. Let that be a lesson to you all. Okay, on the next episode of Skyrim, maybe I won't suck. Okay, bye! Thank <laughs> you.